Who raised you? How do we get to this point where a woman feels it's okay to disrespect a man? A lot of people may ask, well, you have to give respect in order to receive respect. I get it. You don't want to give a stranger respect. But when it comes to the men that's around you, when you disrespecting them, that's a problem. It's a huge problem. You women have to check yourselves because we've come too far and been through so much stuff. What's going on, guys? This is JP with Calm Vibes, and I got to bring a new one to you. All right. Shout outs to Lapeef. Uh, and let's talk. Let's show that um, I like these guys. Um, I like the show. That's why I listen to it. But it's one part, and this was uh, more of a shout out to JR. He expressed something that happened to him that hit home. And that's why, you know, I just took a little piece of this to show this. And he talked about his relationship with his sister and how she has a, I guess say foul mouth, but she's always angry. So he discussed it and you can see how it affected him. So, but before I let it go, um, let's go ahead, hit that subscribe, let's hit the likes and hit that notification bell. And let's show some, some support and keep this thing moving, right? So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. So y'all just check it out, man. I'm on, I'm gonna let it run, you know, right, to the end. All right. See you guys. And um, before we get on to the next topic, I'm on kind of introduce it with a story it's a real life story it just happened uh last sunday so fresh off the flight from nashville from uh working with courtney anton and i i go to my granny's granny's crib rest in peace granny she passed away on mother's day so rest in peace to her but i go over to my granny's house and I didn't want to talk about this, but again, if we're going to be a hundred percent real, um, th these are things that I experience, And I think that it leads to a bigger point that needs to be addressed. So I'm at my granny's house and my sister and I have a weird type of relationship. Um, we don't often get along. I have no problem getting along with her, but the thing that I do not that I do not like about her is our mouth, is our attitude. So we're having a conversation and it's in reference um, to my 16 year old son about him attending a different high school. And so as we're having a conversation, um, just to put a little bit more context into it, there are a lot of times that I just ignore some of the things that she says. Uh, when she speaks to you, anybody particularly a man because that's who i often hear her speak to um there's certain sarcasm uh there are words that that she used that uh, make you go awol but um if you're disciplined enough you're able to remain in frame and just be able to take it as is for the sake because again she's family so this particular time over granny's house um she gets offended, but she gets offended because she couldn't explain her point. Um, she didn't want to answer the question. She deflect answering the question, and then she proceeded to be disrespectful. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, the things that were going on through my head, because we talk about this all the time, is the woman's tongue. Where do women get off thinking that they can disrespect the man? Who raised you? Where did this come from? What does this look like where a woman can disrespect a man, particularly the men that are in the circle of love when it comes to you receiving it on that end? Brothers, husbands, um, friends, mentors, coaches, the woman disrespects the man. And that's, that was going through my head. Um, because I'm again, I'm accustomed to this, but being disciplined, I just avoid it. I'm at a point in my life where I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to waste that energy. I'm not going to get emotionally involved 
invested into this conversation. So back to the story, she begins to disrespect me. Um, my mother was there. And what I didn't like, and we often talk about this on the show, is other women holding women accountable. And I had this conversation later that I expected my mother to call my sister out on that. I knew she was wrong. I knew that she was wrong. And my mother should have called her on. You know what mother says? And I love mother to death. But again, this is a real conversation. You can't say, I, I just wish you guys would get along. I have no problem getting along with her. The problem that I have is that I'm not going to put the extra energy and trying to get along with somebody that doesn't that that doesn't want to get along with me. I have no problem toning down my the thing that I don't like about women in particular is when you're having a conversation and elevate their voice. The minute you elevate your voice, that's a clear sign as though the conversation is out of control. And I question. Why are you raising your voice? You may not like it, but it's an honest, value, valuable question to ask at that time. So I asked her that, and it's always that because, and I feel like as we often speak about this, I feel like you're not trying to. And so I pick and choose my battles, but I get sick and tired of not addressing situations because I'm human. I'm human. Not emotional, but I don't have to ignore every time you're wrong. Sometimes you need to be called out on your. You need to be called out on it. So we moved to the other side. We tried to have a conversation. And she's like, you know what? I, I can't do this. It's, she's like, it's body language. She's not listening. And then she turns ghetto. Mind you, she just... Uh, um, you know, passed the RN exam. She's smart. She's telling with the college, but then it's just that, that ghetto ratchetness, that behavior that she showed right then and there. My again, at this point, she's at the point where she's out of control. She's OC. She's cursing. I don't give a F. No, I'm not about to do that. Blah, 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 blah. My grandfather comes over, and I and I've been raised in the house. Um, a lot with my grandfather. He's been my father figure. And my grandfather said, I don't want no yelling in my house. When I heard that when I was younger, I knew what time it was. When he said that, it stuck with me to this day. Even I say, I don't want no yelling in my house. Because when a man speaks and he set the tone for that house, guess what? Everybody in that house follows suits. That's what a leader of the household does. The head of household. So, she couldn't even tone it down when the man of the house spoke and said, I don't want no yelling in my house. She was out of control. And this happens all the time where you have women that disrespect the man. Who raised you? How do we get to this point where a woman feels it's okay to disrespect a man? A lot of people may ask, well, you have to give respect in order to receive respect. I get it. You don't want to give a stranger respect. But when it comes to the men that's around you, when you disrespecting them, that's a problem. It's a huge problem. You women have to check yourselves because we've come too far and been through so much stuff just trying to be a man in this world. And for you not to understand the respect that a man deserves, he don't have to give you no, no respect in order to receive respect. You should have respect for a man just off GP. My sister was out of line. And so many of you women are out of line as well because it's so many um, marriages that we have right now where the woman is constantly disrespecting the man in the household. How does that look when the woman's disrespecting the man and we got children in the household and they viewing this? Guess what's going to happen? We're going to get the children going to see this and it's going to be passed along and the, the daughters are going to be doing the same exact thing, disrespecting the man. We having this conversation right now because it must stop. The woman's tongue is foul. 
It is foul. And I was disappointed. I ain't haven't got apology yet. You know what she told my mother? We'll never get along. Your pride is that big that you can't woman up and understand your fault. But you know what that tells me? Women need therapy. Grandmas to speak. They need to have conversation with their grandmas, have better relationships because it's messed up out here. It's messed up. And that brings me to our next topic, which is the woman's tongue. Let's talk about this. Man, now tell me you didn't feel that. Every man that see this should feel this. Even if not your sister, you've seen it happen and you've been around. You've probably been a part of it. You can say something and a woman just go slam off. The most professional woman too can be and just all of a sudden get ghetto and just go off, go off, go off. And then she can even be wrong when she realizes she's wrong, but she won't apologize. They'll just say, well, whatever. Well, I don't care. Or switch it to something else to be mad about. So all I'm trying to say is, why are you so freaking angry all the time? Why can't you have a conversation without getting mad? If you don't like something, why you just can't talk through it? Why you have to go, like I said, get a high octave, start fussing, you know, getting real defensive? Why all that has to come into play? And I had a conversation with someone about people saying like, but well, that's who I am and I ain't gonna bite my tongue for nobody. I ain't gonna blah, 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 blah. And I was like, do you have a job? And they say, yeah, I have a job. Why? You work about what, 40, 60 hours a week? Yeah. So what? What they got to do with anything? Do you do this at work? Then they stop. What do you mean? Do you do this at work? Because I'm pretty sure they have to tell you what to do sometime. I'm pretty sure they tell you wrong. You need to correct it. And you need to do this or do that. Do you act like this when you at work? No, I don't act like that at work. There you go. So that means you can control that behavior. You choose to be disrespectful because you don't have no respect for the, for the man, I guess. Most men aren't trying to argue with you. They'll just stop or whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with no woman. I hardly argue with a man. If we get to a man, get to a point where like, all right, what you gonna, what? What you wanna do? You know, I'm not gonna say and argue with you. We're gonna stop or, or what? But I'm not gonna keep going back and forth to, to win. And guys know that if we go back and forth, it can easily turn into a, a physical altercation. So we try to keep it at a certain level because nobody ain't trying to be out here fighting in 2022. Like I tell people, I said, man, I'm, I'm going to, you know, if you try me, I'm going to defend myself, but I'm going to lock your ass up after that. It ain't going to be no easy fight either. So... I just wonder about some women, man. Just like, I don't even, sometimes I, like I told my wife, I said, man, sometimes I don't even want to talk to women half the time. And she was like, why? I said, because I don't feel like going through that. And it's like, what? I say, the attitudes and the, the I say, it just, it's like, damn. Can we just talk without all the attitudes and the, the eyebrows and the funny looks and the, the all this shit, man. Y'all got a lot of shit going on. And I know I'm not the only one that feel this. I can't be. I see it all the time. The younger to the oldest. Mouth is getting real foul to men. Especially to black men. And I don't know what the hell's going on out here. But I'm all about trying to keep that unit together. So I don't know who out here telling you that you don't need to respect one another or you don't need to respect a black man or whatever the shit's going on out here. 
just cause you got a job, a good job, and you finished college, you're looking down on people. I mean, what, what the fuck is going on? Every day I, I go to Facebook, somebody bragging about something they just got. Oh, I got an A on my test today. Oh, look, somebody gave me this. I'm a boss bitch. We gonna ruin the world. And then most, it was crazy is most of y'all ladies have boys. When y'all talking about women gonna ruin, run the world and all this shit. And I was like, so where the boy, where your boys gonna fall in there? Y'all's gonna lead them to the side? Shit, shit ain't thought out, man. Fuss and argue at us, then say, hey, y'all don't protect us. I protect mine. If it's in my family, if I see it, I'm going to stop it. I'm not out here running out to beat on fucking Captain Saber hold everybody. No, I'm not. That's why you need to have your own man. Don't expect strangers to come running to your rescue all the time. When half you don't even want to talk to us and shit. No respect equals uh, zero. Just simple as that. All right, so I don't want to go too far into this, but I, I mean, that shit there was real deep, and I know most men felt that shit. If they watch it, I'm trying to get everybody to watch this shit, but JR put it down this time where the women couldn't even say nothing on the panel. They didn't know how to even re rebuttal that shit. They were like, I don't even know how to follow that up, JR. But guys, this been cool. This JP with Calm Vibes. Don't forget, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Uh, shout outs to Lapeef. Let's talk, especially JR. Enjoy it, brother. Uh, hope y'all work that out. And, um, and I'm out of here till next time. Y'all take care. Peace.